You're watching Kicking It With Shelby with your host, Shelby Townsley. Good evening and welcome to your weekly Full Sail News. I'm your host, Shelby Townsley, giving you all the latest scoop. Let's get this party started. With 2014 coming to an end and a lot of great movies released this year, it's time to gear up for 2015's most anticipated movies. Star Wars Episode 7 being the biggest is slated for a December 18th release date. With Jurassic World on June 12th, Avengers Age of Ultron coming May 1st, Fast and Furious 7 on April 3rd, Fantastic Four on August 17th, and Ted 2 on June 26th. So many movies to be excited for as we wait to hear what else is coming out next year. It has been a great year for television as we got a lot of exciting shows going on. Sons of Anarchy finally came to an end with an emotional season finale wrapping up what's been a crazy ride. Other shows like Game of Thrones and Falling Skies are both getting ready to shoot their fifth season slated to air summer 2015. Right now we are in a mid-season break from three of this year's best TV shows, Arrow, Flash, and Walking Dead. As Flash and Arrow return January 20th and 21st and Walking Dead returning February 8th. As a 24-hour school, Full Sail offers multiple selections of cuisine. Let's take a look at what some of the students thought about its prices. Full Sail University provides its students with food and drink options on campus. We run around asking students what they thought of the prices. If you're in class, you just want to take a break and get, get some chips or something. I think the chips are like $1.20, which is a little more than what you would pay if you went to like 7-Eleven to get the same size bag of chips, which is like 99 cents. So you're pretty much paying for it being right there. For the food and drinks, I mean, I think it's a little ridiculous with the 175 if you use your card instead of the 165 how it normally is. But I mean, I can understand that because it's a processing fee with using the card. But um, other than that, the prices are pretty normal, pretty actually pretty like everywhere else are about the same. It's not like they're charging you like $5 for a soda or something like that, like you see at some other schools. So uh, the pricing options, I believe, are fair. And people can just bring food from home, in my opinion, if it's too expensive for them. I mean, you shouldn't be buying things if you can't afford it anyway. Some students express their views on what the school could change. I would just say more choices or different choices. You should probably get something a little bit healthier because, I mean, everybody who pretty much lives here is eating off of the vending machine. So if they get like at least like a fruit cups or something like that, make life a little bit better for people around here. With these suggested changes, we asked how it would benefit the students. We'll be more healthier that way and we'll be better able to do what we need to do. This is Kelly Feigich. Back to you. We'll be right back right after this commercial break. Music has always been there for me. As a way to rebel. As an outlet to express myself. When I needed to focus. As a way to escape. To give me the confidence to perform. Now, I'm learning how to make music my career. Full Sail University. Your campus is everywhere. It's the gateway to your dream. It's getting the mix just right. It's getting the perfect take. It's putting your art in motion. It's going beyond playing games and actually creating it. It's doing what you love every day. The year of 2014 has been quite a tough one for Atlantic City, New Jersey. A city that is usually filled with tourists due to the casinos has recently taken a huge hit and started to close one by one, leaving many large areas completely vacant. Starting off with the showboat that closed in August, followed by the Trump Plaza and Revel that closed in September, leading to the Atlantic Club that closed shortly after. This month, the Taj Mahal is also said to close December 20th, but yet is still trying to be negotiated. Residents and constant visitors are hoping to keep this casino and the ones remaining alive and better than ever for the new year. On Black Friday, the makers of Cards Against Humanity ran a limited edition deal for the holiday, Bullshit. Inside the typical black box with white font was actual bullshit. Yes, like actual poop. In fact, the purchase page listed it was actual feces from an actual bull. Far from the usual sassy cards we all love to collect. It's an interesting protest in the Black Friday shopping craziness that seems to have consumed today's shoppers who will seemingly buy anything on sale. 
After the company reportedly sold over 30,000 boxes of the actual shit, the CEO of Cards Against Humanity had little sympathy. A new hit sensation that is sweeping the electronic nation is electronic cigarettes. E-cigs are often used as a healthier alternative for smoking cigarettes. Healthier? Maybe. But are they still harmful? Some studies say that e-cigarettes can cause a bacterial infection that is resistant to antibiotics. E-cigarettes have triggered a huge debate among health experts who want to achieve the same thing, to reduce the disease and death caused by tobacco. But they disagree whether e-cigarettes make the problem better or worse. E-cigs are just about as common as men on the campus of Full Sail. Let's take a look. The man-to-female ratio here at Full Sail University as of 2014 is 8 to 1. We caught up with some students to see how it is that they feel about it. At Full Sail University, you experience what not many other colleges do, which is having a very unbalanced man-to-female ratio. Some students think that this is better for their education, while others think that the university should do more to attract females. As great as it would be to have more girls around, they're actually a distraction to me and my work. You know what I'm saying? So. It's, it's a good and a bad thing at the same time. Well, pretty much you come here to study, so, but at the same time, you would like to have more of both interacting at the same time that, because that's real world. I'm not really that bothered by it, I guess, and it seems like the um, women here are also interested in the same things and stuff, so we're all on equal playing field. It's just not equal in numbers. I think it could add more balance if you could, uh, if they interpret more things that girls can do. Try to find some type of way to have more, I guess, programs that will appeal more, the, more to girls maybe? I don't know, like fashion design. Like I've been having that a lot. There is like uh, women's scholarships and stuff, so maybe if they focused on that or had like clubs for women to kind of promote it a little bit more, get them more excited about it, more interested, that might emphasize it a little bit. Yeah, I guess if there were a bit more of an incentive. I'm Ashana Bratt with Full Sail News, back to the studio for more. Full Sail does not seem to have any sports teams. Let's go out into the field with Erin Martin to find out how she, the students feel after this commercial break. Get those monitors on stage. Bring me those in here. Welcome aboard. What's the sound check? into a game studio or give you the tools to turn a day at the park into a film shoot discover a new way to experience creative education online full sail university your campus is everywhere Hi, I'm Aaron at full sail university asking students about the lack of sports here on their campus well, they, I think Full Sail doesn't have any sports teams because they're really focused on the um, creative aspects of things and they're not really focused on like a, just any kind of sports events or anything like that. They don't want to have any events like that. I mean, if you look at the campus and everything, there's only so many people who are really into sports. We have a whole bunch of programs that um, aren't really sports related. We do have the, the uh, ESPN, and I know a bunch of my friends in... Uh, RA like sports and everything, but I think it's just too few and far between to spend the money. Not like they don't have the money to do it, though. And here's one of the students' opinions about the scheduling conflicts if Full Sail had a sports team. Well, it'd be very difficult to manage to have a sports team because of the schedules. Because half the team could be in class, and the other half the team could be out of class, and you have to have time to train, you have to have time to practice, you have to have time to actually play, and it just very difficult to actually be able to get everybody out on the field at the same time. Everybody's focused on academics and not really focused on, like I know like at UCF, they're all, like every time that it comes around, then everybody's gets so focused on the, the sports events and they're not really focused on the academic things. And it's just, it's better just be focused on your career and trying to get better at your career than actually on sports. Well, there's your answers from the students here at Full Sail University. Now back to you. 
Even without organized sports teams, Full Sail still offers a glimpse into the world of sports through their partnership with the WWE at Full Sail Live. In Thursday's main event, perpetual underdog Sami Zinn put his career on the line against NXT champion Adrian Novelle and won. After winning, Zayn was joined in the ring by the entire NXT roster, including Owens, Zayn's longtime friend. After the crowd dispersed and Zayn left the ring, he was rejoined by Owens, much to the audience's surpri surprise. Owens attacked Zayn and laid him out with a series of brutal moves. The two have not spoken since the incident, but the fans expect a follow-up on this massive plot twist. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Movies have always captured my imagination. Filmmakers can create new worlds and open your eyes to new ideas. That's what I want to do, but I also want to be smart about my career and learn how to get my ideas out there. That's why I'm looking for a school where I can use my creative mind. I was five when I ruled my first kingdom and spent years defending it with honor. Opponents would challenge me, but fall in defeat. I've created legends while upholding the hero's code. I've always taken games seriously. Now, I'm learning to create them. Full Sail University Online. Your campus is everywhere. I've always had a head for business, but I want to work in entertainment. I'm fascinated by the people behind the scenes, the ones who make things happen. I want to take creative ideas and turn them into successful projects. That's why I'm looking for a school where I can use my creative mind. Okay, okay. This is Joshua Whitehead. Today we asked students about the equipment offered at Full Sail. Let's see what they have to say. Um, well, Full Sail offers a wide variety of equipment for the recording arts program. So we have uh, different kinds of consoles, like in the Audio Temple, which is their professional audio suite. Um, they have the SSL Duality, which is an expensive console that we get to play with. I'm very happy about that. So we get a wide variety of different equipment to work with. So it's absolutely fantastic because we get to go hands-on. Um, I haven't really gotten anything from my degree program yet besides my laptop, and we actually pay for that. And I got a couple of art supplies for a DAT. Um, the equipment that we get to use in the classroom, man, I've, I've used everything from uh, analog audience boards to an SSL uh, 9, I think it's a 900. Uh, we've used countless of different, different types of computers, uh, Pro Tools 10 and 11. Some students are even excited about equipment they haven't used yet. Uh, I don't know how you call those things. I think it's a crane. Mm, uh, yeah, it's like the big chairs that the directors sit on and then like they're moving them around. Yeah. Uh, I would really love to learn that. Of course, I'm not there yet, but I just think that's just totally awesome. This is Joshua Whitehead. Back to you at the studio. With all of this new emerging technology, we risk the chance of hackers, which is exactly what happened a few weeks ago when a hacking group, Lizard Squad, temporarily shut down Xbox Live servers. The group has gained a bad name by consecutively attacking multiple online gaming servers, including Grand Theft Auto, Destiny, Ma and Major League Gaming. The group uses DDoS attacks on flood servers, causing them to shut down for a few hours, putting pressure on game developers to improve network security. In the hours during the recent attack on the Xbox Live, Lizard Squad went to Twitter to take credit for the attacks and warn us all that the attack was a small dose of what's to come on Christmas. In other news, Sony will be launching its newest camera model, the Alpha 7 Type 2, later this year. Though the camera will be launched in Japan only, it will hopefully find its way to the American shelves soon enough. The camera is Sony's first, with five axis in-body stabilization for still photos and video. This will help reduce camera shake regardless of the lens used. Sony will also dramatically increase the function of the camera's autofocus motion capture feature by 50%, making moving objects easier to capture. This camera is certainly a top choice for photographers and videographers out there. Thank you for watching Full Sail News. I'm Shelby Townsley signing off. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to all. Shelby with the Radiant, Shelby Townsley.